Hello everyone, this is Debbie and I'm here today to share with you a very special mini album. And this mini album I made for my niece, Kiera, and her soon-to-be husband, Benjamin. And they're going to be getting married very, very soon. So this, I need to get uh, this video done and get it sent to them so they will have it before their wedding. So anyway, um, their colors uh, were different shades of purples and lavenders and that, and gold as well, apparently. So I put together this book with those colors and did add silver as well. Now what I did for the base of the book is I did use this paper pack. It's called Blanc Boutique, and it's from the Paper Studio. I got it over at Hobby Lobby, and it is in the pearl um, colors. I like this because all of the pages went well together because they all have the same color scheme. So I was able to put all of these together and everything went well. And every single page in the base of this book is done with that paper pack. I used, uh, it comes 30 um, sheets in a pack and I bought two of them. So I used a lot of paper in this book. I also use just a little bit of this love story, and it's from Craft Smith. I got it at uh, Michael's, I'm pretty sure. But they had some tags in here. Let me go ahead and pull those out. They had these tags that I really, really liked, and I did use these throughout um, this mini album. Didn't use any of the papers. I didn't know at the time if that's what I wanted, but I but I like these. So I did use that as well as some of these tags here. They did have one paper in there that I did use, and it has all of these different sayings and words that would be related to weddings. So I did use some one page of that. Okay, so let me go ahead and get on to uh, the mini album here. Now this mini album is an eight and a half by eight and a half, rather large mini, has a four inch uh, spine because I tell you, it's really, really chunky and I needed that extra spine um, space. Now here on the edge of the book, what I have done is I used a one and a half inch uh, satin ribbon and a beautiful purple. Um, also, I added these roses, and these roses I use throughout the whole entire book. I think almost every page, in fact, I think every page does have a rose on there. And I use this uh, leaf trim. You can buy it by the yard in most, um, you know, scrapbooking stores. And then I took a length of that and then added my uh, flowers. Of, um, that I purchased. Now these I got from a scrapbook expo. I um, bought them in a big huge pack. I believe it had maybe, I don't know, six dozen um, roses in that pack. But I had purchased it right after I found out uh, what their colors would be. So I was really happy to find those. Okay, also um, on the spine area here, I do have um, a gold or a silver chain uh, and I have um, some charms on the end, some little pearl charms. I have one here that says, I do. There's one up here that is a holy Bible. And then I have a ring, beautiful diamond ring. And here we go, also two doves. Now, those I, uh, some of these I did get at the Scrapbook Expo. I don't know if you guys could see that. I know sometimes I get kind of crazy with my videotaping and you can't see things quite very well. But anyway, there they are. Yeah. Then I also added a, a length of a strand of pearls. And as well, I had this ribbon trim in my stash. I don't know if you guys could even find it anymore. I can't remember where I got it, but I've had it for years says Mr. and Mrs. and happily ever after. Okay, now, oh, oh yeah, and then also I did add um, some Ecru tool that has some little gold speckles in it. Okay, so anyway, on the front of the book, what I've done, and I don't use stickers a whole lot with my scrapbooking. I just really don't like stickers that much, but I did use one. Um, or some, and it's from Me and My Big Ideas. Uh, let me see. Um, anyway, it's just wedding theme, and it says Our Wedding. 
So I did use that um, on the on the front of the book, along with a couple of other ones here, Groom and Bride. Um, there were some down here that I did use. Really cute stickers, but I wanted to kind of stick to a certain theme or, you know, look to my book, I should say. Okay, so there's that. And then what I did as well is I did use a silver um, frame that I got at Michael's several, probably a few years ago and uh, kept that the same color that it was. I did add a couple of um, pearls on it just to give that pearl in my the theme of my book. And then I have some white uh, roses on there. And I got those as well at the Scrapbook Expo, I think at the same booth that I got the purple ones at, but there were probably about eight dozen or so roses, white roses in here. So anyway, got those, used those on the front, the purple roses that I just showed you. As well, I have a Melissa Francis, um, I believe Miss Melissa Francis um, cherub on here that I thought looked so pretty over there. Also, I used some sprays, they're tool sprays, and they have some little pearl sticks on it. I got those at Hobby Lobby, really cute, yeah. Got, got, got those at Hobby Lobby, and I tucked those in here and there. As well, I do have on there some small, um, oh, they're little rosebuds, and I got those at Wild Orchid Crafts, and I thought they looked so pretty with the, with the purple roses that I had on here. I have some over here, some sticking out here and down here as well. And then I tucked in there some pearl, oh, I can't find them. Oh, here they are. Uh, stick pins and those stick pins I got at Hobby Lobby in the bridal section. There's a little pearl on top of some little rhinestones going around the edges and I cut those and I put those in, tucked them in. Let me see where is it? Right there. Have one right there and then I have one down over here. I tucked that in just to kind of bring um, that pearl and rhinestone theme in a little bit more. So the book is um, held together or is held close, I should say, with a ribbon closure and a hook and eye um, closure. Now the um, the pretty heart piece on here was a buckle that I got from Joann's in their button section, and then I added the hook and eye onto that. Okay, and then attach it to the ribbon, and that is the closure. And then um, hanging from that, I did add a little chain here, and that chain has a heart with a key running through it, and then, of course, a couple more of those charms. So let's go ahead and open the book and see what we have going on on the inside. There it is. Let me make sure that I'm in frame here. Looks like we're doing okay so far. Okay, now on page one, what I have done is I have incorporated um, their wedding announcement in the book, and that's what I have here. I've covered that up, but here underneath this piece of paper would be their wedding um, announcement, and I cut this piece um, from cardstock using, black cardstock, using a help, heartfelt creations, regal borders, and pockets, and there it is. There's a number right on there. Love, love, love this. Oh, you know what? Actually, it wasn't from that die. It's from this heartfelt die is what that is. I used um, this one right right down here. And that would be the one that, that I did use for this tag, for the top of this tag. What I used this one for was down below on the pocket down here. There is a die cut down there that I've adhered to the pocket. And um, that did come from, from this. Oops, right there. That one right there. Regal borders and pockets. Okay. All right. Now, um, like I said, here's the here is the invitation, and then on the back, I did put a vertical four by six photo map there. Now, over here in the pocket, uh, I just absolutely, absolutely loved this photo here that they sent when they sent the save the date, um, and uh package and I just thought it was so cute so I had to put it in here so I did put that on the front here and then on the back they have a horizontal um, uh, four by six mat here okay so all of that goes back in 
to the pocket here and then of course pearls and and ribbons and flowers I use throughout the whole entire book here I use that same lace trim with my flowers on here this would open up and that pulls out okay so we have this little piece right here where they can add photos on this if they want but this would be for four by six and another four by six on the bottom or on the back right there okay another pocket here and in that pocket I have a little booklet and this booklet right here will be magnetic closured here so you just open that giving you um, two vertical four by sixes and then on the back if you would like you can put one on there as well okay and this large mat right here pulls out giving you two photo mats here and cherish in the moment love it and then on the back you'll have a four by six on there as well okay i am so sorry guys if i get a little bit close up on my um on my things that i show you here i'm so sorry about that i'm still trying to get used to um maneuvering around that and and um, you know my camera and stuff so anyway here we go then on the on the second page here I have two pot or a uh, corner pockets here and that corner pocket I did cut or both of those I did cut using the heartfelt creations it's the decorative uh, blossom corners right there love this die love 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 that die and then what I did because it's such a delicate um, cut piece I did back it in an acetate so it gives these pieces some protection from from items that are slipped in and out of these pockets as you can see right there even that wants to catch a little bit but we're okay i have the acetate there and then on the inside of that pocket i have this really cute booklet here i love this booklet i love this die in fact this die is the spellbinders die and it is oh what's it called majestic elements right there majestic or gold majesty circles i guess oh yeah right there okay i was reading that part right there but anyway the number is s4 oops where am i at there i am s4409 okay there now my camera got focused on it sorry about that guys Okay, so that's what this is. And Kara, like on the front, oh, I didn't show you guys that. I'll have to get back over there and show that to you. There's a piece on the frame in the front that comes out and you will be able to uh, put a photo. In fact, I'll show it to you when I'm done showing you this page. But anyway, there's a template in the back and there is a circle template that you can put on top of your photo, cut that piece out and glue it to this. So you'll have a photo um, spot here on the front of that. And then when you open it up, you have two four by sixes on the inside right there. And then a possibility of one on the back too, if you would like. Okay, let me go ahead and go back to the uh, front of the book again and show that to you, Kira, right here. Okay, now right here on the front, this piece right here, there's a rose and a, a small flower right here, or a small rose. This piece comes out and you have a piece like this there is a spot here to put your photo and i have that template in the back so i'll show you i'll show you those when we get to it but anyway that is protected by a piece of acetate right here for your photo protect your photo and then that'll just slip right back in down in like so and then when you get the photo in there that you want if you don't like this moving around a little bit just add a little piece of glue back or a little bit of glue back there and then just adhere it so everything will stay nice and secure there okay now let's go on back um, to to page I believe this is page four page four right here now on page four I have another one of those pullouts here and that pullout would accommodate a couple of photos right here okay this will come up and this will come out and it's the same format you have a spot here for your photos and then four by six and then another four by six right over there Okay, now this is a tag that pulls out. And this tag, I use the same die that I showed you guys earlier, the Heartfelt Creations. And that's what I created the top here and then made a mat. On here, I used one of those cut aparts I showed you earlier with this ring. And then this opens up giving you two photo options here. Okay, and that's magnetic closure as well. And then on the back, you have a spot for a photo here as well. 
Okay, now this is another mat that, that comes out and giving you two um, horizontal four by six options right here, okay? Then this one right here will come out as well. And on here, it'll give you another um, a horizontal four by six option. One of those cut aparts, love. And then on back, a vertical four by six here. Now, all of those are gonna slip right back in here. And then I'll show you too, uh, Kiara and Benjamin, what I did is with this right here, I put it in to where it's over here to the side. And the reason for that is when you take this piece and slip it back into its slot here, into its little envelope area, and you close it, the magnet will come together. If you put it over here, it's too much bulk. So anyway, keep that in mind when you put that piece back in. Okay, now on these two pages right here, I did something a little different. Uh, these two pages here, um, as you can see, are the brides and grooms pages. And over here, I've created a little pocket right here in his jacket. And it just gives you the meaning of a groom, which is a man who just got married or is about to be married, as if we didn't know. But anyway, I thought it was really cute. And then here um, gives you options for two photos. And they're small photos, but you know, you'll be doing a lot of cropping and stuff of your photos for this book to make things fit and look nice in there. And his jacket is a magnetic closure as well. I put buttons here, little rose and one of those little pearl sprays here. This opens up giving um, a couple of pockets here with tags in it or uh, photo mats in it. That one says groom. Here you go, a little photo mat there, double sided. And another one over here, it says handsome guys. So he could get a picture of all of his groomsmen on there. And this comes, goes down here, giving you two vertical four by sixes. And then I put to love and be loved, just everything down there. I thought that was sweet. Oh, you guys can't see it. Oh, here it is. Let, let, let me get it up here. There it is. There you go. To love and be loved, just everything. There you go. All right. Now you can see it. So hard to know when you're in frame sometimes, guys. So hopefully I'm pretty much in frame with everything. Okay, now over here on this page right here, um, this is the bride's page, obviously, and I made her her little bouquet. These two pages really added the bulk to the book, but I thought they were so cute. I had to have the bouquet and his little boutonniere there. I put uh, some pearl sprays up on here, uh, lace trim, and then added a bunch of pearls here and additional ones here to make everything go together. Here, um, Oh, as well as her necklace, I put all of those pieces are individually glued on. The torso comes out, and then on the torso piece here, uh, there is a photo map here. It says bride, and I've not glued it all the way up here so that you can put your photo right down in there, and, your, and everything will look nice and, and neat. And then you can always glue that part down further if you want to um, do that. Now, when you flip it over, it'll be the same thing on the other side. It says, beautiful girls. It does go in there. Believe me, it does. It does. There it goes. Okay. And then go ahead and glue that down. All righty. Over here, then this tag comes out. And that tag will accommodate two, um, two horizontal um, frames on there. And then I added the pearls and, and a little um, ribbon little ribbon guy on there. Okay, and then right here, this, this pulls out, and you have um, options of two um, vertical four, four by sixes on here. So all of that tucks back into this pocket here on her bodice, and I've made it to where it clears the corner on her shoulder, so when you turn it over, you're not seeing the points up here. So kind of keep that in mind when you're putting it back together to make sure that's below her shoulder line. And then that will fit right back here into her torso or into her gown here. Okay, and then on the next page, I've kind of um, gone back to what I did on the first two pages here just to tie, get everything tied back together again. And then over here, um, okay, so the die cut, the lace, the pearls, the you know, ribbon and all that. So all of that's kind of tied in together. And then I use one of the cut aparts and, and cut around that image. Okay, here, added some ribbon and a rose and then lots of mats. 
added a little pearl here. I didn't add one here because I didn't want it to interfere with putting it in and out of the pocket. I thought it might get stuck. So we have two um, uh, verticals here, two for four by sixes, and there's another one there. Then you pull up this big mat again, happiness is being with you. Two mats here, pearls here, and then on the back, another four by six um, vertical. That goes back down in there. And then I, I just put it over to the side. It probably really doesn't matter if you have it centered to the side, wherever you want to put that, it's not going to hurt. But I put it over here to kind of keep the flower protected a little bit more. Okay, and then on here, I have, you know, the same pull out, but I have just one photo mat here with a little ribbon faux hanger on there. And that opens up, same thing, two vertical four by sixes. And then with this right here, this whole piece comes out. This is all one huge, gigantuous piece. And um, that photo frame that I used here on the front came from a Spellbinders, a Nestability, um, let's see, what is it called? Uh, it's called Labels 45. Yeah, it's down over here, Labels 45. Oh, right here, there it is. And there is the number on it is S. Six, let's save my camera, I'll focus on that. S6020, okay? So that's what that is. And as well, um, Kira in the back, and Benjamin, I, I don't mean to leave you out, Benjamin, but anyway, you guys, um, there will be a template here in the back that will allow you to cut around your photo to fit it nicely in this photo frame. Okay, now this is magnetic closure as well, and this opens up giving you a little pocket right over here, and that pocket right there um, has a mat, and that would be a double um, vertical six by six mat, or six by four mat. And then you can also glue a photo back there if you want. I didn't count how many photos you could accommodate in this little mini, but there are a lot. And then over here you have another four by six, and then again, like I said, you know, one on the back if you wish. So that all goes right back in here. Get it in there, there we go. And this will slip right into its slot here on the side. Okay, there we go, that's done. And then the final two pages, I have um, a pocket here and I've double um, punched an edge of black cardstock, added some ecru lace and some ribbon with a bow and a rose there. And then this whole piece comes out of there. Originally, I made this piece um, just as a single booklet. It was gonna be, you know, just this piece right here minus this. But I couldn't find a place in the book that I really liked it, but I liked this part, upper part here. So I made it to where I added this piece. So when it's put in this pocket right here, it stands up. And, and out of, of that piece so you could read that. I really liked how that looked. So anyway, you open it up and this is magnetic, is this, oh yeah, it is magnetic closure because I put one here and I put one on the back when I originally made it. Whether that's gonna be too much bulk after you get all your photos, I do not know. But anyway, it'll be fine. Um, here, a horizontal four by six vertical. And then you open it up here, you have another vertical and then a horizontal four by six. Photos could go there. So when you put it in here, it won't flop because it tucks underneath this, or inside of this pocket here. Now on the very last page here, I've created an, an envelope and I've been doing that on a few of my books. It was an idea that one of my clients gave me and, and I love it so much that I decided to incorporate that in a few of my minis, and this is one of them, of course. Here I have, um, it, so you have, have your uh, envelope piece that opens up here, and I have inserted in there those templates that I was talking to you about, uh, guys, and right here I used, I took off one of the stamps that you use on your save the date package and put it on here. I thought that was kind of cute. So you open it up. Let me see if I can get those little guys out of here. Get those little guys. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's the one for the front, front of the book. That's for the frame on the front. Then you have the circular one that goes on that one ornate frame. 
And I put them on like an acetate. It's kind of like that overhead projector uh, stuff that I don't know if they even use that these days, but I just had some on hand. So, so I thought it's perfect because you could see through it onto your photo to see what part of the image you want on here, where you want to place it. And then um, the ornate frame map that's on page eight. So you have those and those are tucked into the pocket or into this envelope here and it'll be in that, that um, envelope pocket in the back. Then also in there, I did uh, use the cover of your um, invitation and made a little booklet here. Okay, now this, I, I glued this ribbon to where it was not halfway but down a little bit because when it was up too high, it interfered with the magnet that's in here. So I figured if it's down below there, it's your, your magnet's still gonna work well. So anyway, you go ahead and open up this, and it's not magnetic closured on this, but that's okay. Um, the tie keeps everything together. It says, the story of you and me is my favorite story. Oop, there we go, now you can see it better. I really love this. I thought it was so, so sweet. But what I had decided that would be the best thing to do with this is to make a journaling um, booklet for you guys. And I don't know, it's your book, so you can decide what you want to do, but a couple of options maybe to write how you guys met, where you met, how you met, how you felt, whatever, you know, what, whatever feels good to you guys. Or um, another possibility, since it is a wedding book, you could maybe write about your wedding so you could look at it, you know, many years from now and, and remember that special day. So anyway, there it is, guys. And let me go ahead. Oh, yeah. And then these right here, these were also die cut. And I did use a Spellbinders um, die one more time. Fantastic Flourish 2. And I just glued those on there and um, added a little pearl bling down here in the corners. So anyway, um, Kara and Benjamin, that is the special wedding album that I made for you guys for your wedding. And... Um, gosh, I tell you, um, Yosemite, what a beautiful place to get married. I am so happy for the two of you. Um, so anyway, you guys enjoy your, um, your wedding album and have a lot of fun putting it together. Um, together. And I'm sure, I'm sure you guys will have a lot of enjoyment out of it. So my best wishes to both of you for a beautiful, beautiful um very long marriage, happy marriage. And um, so thank you guys so much for, for um, watching my video. I hope that my book has helped, helped you, Benjamin and Kiara, to know how to use your book and to all of my um, wonderful YouTube friends for watching. And I hope I gave you all great ideas. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.